filters in meetings. That is what this video is about. But first, like and subscribe to my channel and share this video with as many people as you know. Well, welcome at this uh, video. Uh, this video is mainly about uh, how you can set backgrounds, uh, use avatars, um, all that kind of stuff. So let's dive in a bit. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a custom uh, tooling, in this case OBS, uh, in my videos. I also use this OBS functionality within uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, but I'm not going to go into detail about that because that's something not standard and I want to keep it standard. Uh, but one of the things that uh, use um, that's handy with OBS is, for example, my name, which is uh, here. Um, you can see that uh, it's printed in the screen and I also have my logo up here. Um, and for example, I can switch pretty easy using uh, a stream deck in this case. Um, but that's all functionality that's uh, using OBS and Stream Deck, which most people don't have during the regular meetings. But now let's go into Teams and see what's possible. So uh, I'm here in Teams and I'm going to click Meet now in my calendar um, and start a meeting. First of all, um, I always go to this uh, to this gog and then I select my camera. This is something you do uh, by default and so this is nothing new at least uh, when you have a new camera set up or when your camera is not working. Then um, I put on my camera and um, by default in this case there are already some effects but uh, by default it's none. You see uh, it's black because my uh, camera is uh, protected, so there's a protected view. Um, but I could use the blur, uh, which is default still. And I can use uh, an, um, a background, which is by default. Uh, so now I can open my uh, my camera because it's, <laughs> it's not uh, a very nice environment to show you um, and I can go through many uh, different uh, backgrounds. Now at the bottom you also see uh, filters. So here I can select a filter and if I click on one you see in this case it's a snap filter. Um, it depends on your organization if you may use it uh, but you see also see some other uh, filters. Uh, for example this one these are from microsoft um, when i click on a more uh, video effects you will see that uh, i've got a few so first of all this is the view you will get in a meeting as well and here you can select your background you can add a new background be aware of the sizing so it's a minimum size of 360 pix by 360 pix uh, till to uh, 2048 uh, pics it needs to be square uh, jpeg format or gpg uh, png or bmp uh, it's all up to you i mostly use png um, and you can add them depending on your organization because sometimes organization uh, put them off so be aware everything i show you here is um, um, it could be different in your organization because there's a specific policy active on this. So you see you already have quite some backgrounds. Uh, these are the older ones uh, of Microsoft Teams. Uh, and you see we also have some uh, new, uh, new backgrounds here. Uh, let's keep it with this one and I go back to the backgrounds. Then we've got uh, filters. Normally you don't have filters, but if you enable it, uh, these are uh, Microsoft filters. And what you see is that it's a slowly moving filter. So it makes it more comfortable to look at uh, my video. You've got several uh, different uh, formats. 
you can select uh, birthday for example or q a today we are using a q a filter we are here for you and we can help you then we've got uh, styles so you can make it uh, a total different experience uh, i don't like that too much uh, to be honest uh, so i'm going to do back and we've got snapchat filters now these filters and uh, frames they uh, could be disabled by our it organization uh, again because uh, for example snapchat people may not want you to use the snapchat filter but i could select for example here we have a cat i can put a cat on my head and of course it makes it more funny the meeting but uh, again you have to be aware what kind of organization are you and what are you trying to uh, um, send out to your public uh, but still it's it there are some nice uh, nice ones here i don't know i've <laughs> i i haven't clicked all of them so uh, sometimes i see uh, other things that i i expect it's not all too clear what all filters mean but that's about the filters and the background effects now this is very nice but what we want is uh, we want uh, to put our camera off and we want to use an avatar so here we can click on avatars and it directly says okay to enable avatars you have to turn off your camera so here we are i turned off my camera and now i've got the possibility to select the avatar or to create uh, a new avatar if i click create a new avatar it will kill my meeting and i can uh, generate a new avatar i'm not going to do that uh, right now um, but you you will get into the avatars if it's not installed you can install it so i'm uh, i'm fine with the uh, avatars uh, going back to the uh, to this menu i hope i can click on it because there's something over it uh, start meeting again it's a small uh, meeting just to set it up um, what you see is when i have the avatars active it will show you uh, my lips are um, are opening and closing because it hears the sound so you directly see i'm speaking this makes it more interactive even though my camera is off so let's see how this looks in a meeting and uh, i want to show you this exactly because uh, in the meeting you will have some more possibilities so um, here you can select uh, more and you can go to effects and avatars and i could even select a different avatar and preview it uh, or do it over so here you see i have a different avatar um, but you also see some reactions so here you see the wave for example uh, from hi i'm here um, a yes not i, I agree uh, thinking now let's go to show all and here you have a like whatsapp um, um, item and you can select for example i want to do activities um, let's do a first bump uh, uh, something like that it makes it more cheerful uh, for the uh, footballers uh, or soccer players we've got the the dab um, and uh, greetings uh, like this uh, or uh, tears of joy like okay it was really nice and <laughs> we have to laugh and things like that so there's lots of possibilities and i think the avatars really make your your um, experience within a team meeting better although i always uh, give the the positive vibes on cameras on i think when you don't turn your camera on you have something else you are doing um, or you are not fully focused on the meeting so be aware of that um, but sometimes it's difficult and i understand 
but then please use avatars instead of uh, using a no camera uh, or no um, um, no avatar uh, let's uh, do the avatar off um, and you see uh, only an icon this makes the meeting <laughs> much uh, I would go away directly or at least look away directly uh, so either turn on your camera or use avatars during your meeting well this is uh, it for now I'm very curious um, did you know about this functionality are you using it and especially if you are in IT uh, how do you like the snap uh, filters and the Microsoft filters do you have them turned on or do you have them turned off with the policy um, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe my video and tell as many people as possible and see you next time thanks for watching